Here's a little video for those of you who like debating the color of Captain Kirk's shirt. Here's my green pants. And here's my green hat, relatively close in color. Now, watch as I turn my green hat brown. There's my brown hat. Now, there's my green hat. And again, my brown hat. Now do it slowly. Brown hat, green hat. The only difference is the type of lighting I'm using. Green, brown. Now here's something interesting. Green pants. Under the first light that the hat was green under. And green pants. Under the second light that the hat was brown under. Different dyes react differently under light, as you can tell. Very distinctly brown. Very distinctly green. As cameras react differently to different types of light. Here's the same hat, green, under warm temperature fluorescence. You turn those off, and here is daylight fluorescent, and the hat's green. So you can tell it's not just the color temperature of the lighting that actually changes the color of the hat. There's more to it than that, which a lot of people who do photography, um, whether you're a photographer or a gaffer or a director of photography, don't realize. It's not just color temperature you have to look at when you're trying to take a look at what colors different fabrics will change.